What Happened This Week podcast. Just two best friends chatting in the trailer about all the things you are thinking about. Because you never know with Kim and Trisha. Straight out of the dining room. Hey guys, so we're not in our studio again. We're close. We're, we're close. Not. Yes. Baby sleeping, husband's hunting, daughter's at church. So this We're, is where we end up. That's right. I mean, we could go out in the camper. We could bring the baby monitor, but yeah. I don't think that would be cool. We need to get a quick, quick to get to Gitty. access. Because, I mean, it's been raining, so I'd hate to have to go tromping through the yeah. thunderstorm. Yeah. That save my baby. That wouldn't be cool. <laughs> so I see that Grady wore his boots. Did they fit him? Yeah. Did they yeah. tie anything? No, they're, or they... no, they're okay. perfect. Yeah, no, he did. He wore them. Um, he's uh, going through this thing where he doesn't want to, like, eat. It's so weird. It's like. Pulling teeth to get him to drink his bottle now. Well, you do have him on formula full time now. No, no, it's still like half and half. Okay. So, um, but it doesn't matter what it is. Right. It doesn't matter if it's formula. It doesn't matter if it's the breast milk. And so I've done this thing now where like, because I was like, oh my god, I just, like, I just feed him like every two hours. I don't know. So I was like, you know, what? I backed off of it and started like pushing as far as I could. So then he's super hungry and finishes right. it. So I'm thinking we're finally gotten this figured so out. So you're intermittent fasting with him. Oh my god, yes. I no. W- I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand the the, the strategy there. Yeah. I wish I had a problem where I didn't want to eat. I wish I had like a, a, a like just in a good two months of that, yeah, exactly. and then I and then I can go back to normal. Exactly. So yeah, so we had that. Um, what else is going on this week? It was a busy week. I think with I had a lot of doctor's appointments today. Yes, took the kids to the cardiologist. Um, I went to the dermatologist was that this week? Yeah. No, that was. I don't even know. Your weeks are running together. Are they? I try to look at my schedule here. Oh, yeah, Grady went for his checkup, took the kids to the cardiologist, and then I went to the eye doctor. Okay. Yeah. All, go- all good? Yeah, well, I had to go to the eye doctor to get my eyes tested because this medicine that they're going to put me on for my arthritis make- right. can make you go blind. Oh, well, you know, I have the uh, macular degeneration yeah, disease. Yeah, they told me all about it. Together. Exactly. And actually, um, s- s- crazy enough, I need to go get an appointment for Taylor because it's hereditary, so I have to. she's kind of concerned mm-hmm. that she could possibly have it. Right. And there's really nothing you can do except I take eye vitamins. Oh, okay. And they have some type of like exercise you can do with your eyes. Where okay. It's like a paper and it has a dot and all that. I mm-hmm. mean, I don't do it, but I've noticed. I mean, I don't know if I'm more in tune with it now. Like now that I know, um, I have 80 year old eyes. Like I don't know. Like sometimes I have a hard time focusing and I'm wondering because my work laptop is super tiny mm-hmm. and I don't know if that has something to do with it, but I'm like, man, I'm going blind already. I'm like, am I seeing spots? Like I, yeah. I'm like, I got to get a, a, James is like, we could turn Bella into a service dog. I'm like, she will lead me into US1. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, yeah, she would. Or she just lay down. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, that's good. So yep. I am having a better week though. Cause we you know we had the, a mess of a week before. That's right. And I did. So I kind of think why, um, you know, I, I've been pregnant and then breastfeeding. So I got my first period. Okay. I think that's, I think that's why it sent me in a spiral. Right. Cause you're your hormones are all out of whack. Out of whack. So maybe you're going to like be even keel now or. I, I yeah, I know. Okay. I think like, well, I think that week before you know, right. like a crazy well, person and I hadn't witnessed that in a long time. I know I did not, I had no idea it was coming. Nobody else had witnessed in a long <laughs> time either. Like However, how do I deal with this? Your hormones were one of its own animal. Right. You right. Know? But, um, I got a pass for that one. Like you're carrying a human, you know. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I think my husband would be like, "All right, you get a pass. Like you're carrying, you're carrying my my seed, my baby." You right. know, like. But uh, period hormones. I mean, they're a whole off other... the chart. Oh my god. And me and Taylor are in the same cycle. Oh god. Oh god, it's a hot mess. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she cries, I cry. We don't even know why we're mad. It's yeah, just like I just. That's probably why I was so aggravated and I couldn't. Like I was just like, I gotta get out of here. It was just like because of that. Because now mm-hmm. it's like, okay, it's better. So. You're at a ten. You need to be at a two. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So now that's better, you know. It takes you to a whole other level when it comes around that period time. Exactly. So, but yeah, so now everything's better. I'm, uh, I'm not, I need some medic. I don't need medication this week. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> next week we'll check in and see how it's going, exactly. you know. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who listened our, uh, essentially through our meltdown. That's all right. I mean, medication <laughs> is good, you know, just a little Xanax here and there. Yeah. You know, I don't even know where to get it. Yeah. I don't even know what to say to the doctor. Like, I feel like they wouldn't, um, I think they're a little more reluctant now to give that kind of stuff out. Agreed. I mean, I have a doctor's appointment this week. I got a hernia. Okay. From like, carrying like 50 children, God, like, I imagine. It's in my belly button. I believe that because of the baby. Yeah, like a separation mm-hmm. of like your muscles there, mm-hmm. and like uh, most of the time it's not bad. It's like this little, just little like mushy, like but then all of a sudden like, I feel like a cramp and it pops out. Oh god! You know what it was? You push it back in. I don't. Know, I'm scared it'll break something. It's like an Audi or is it an Innie? 
Or your belly button? <laughs> well, now it's an acne Audi. for sure. I mean, um, and then like it, it cramps and then went back in. It was like yesterday it hurt really, really bad. I thought, oh my God, I got to go to the hospital. Um, but no, I made a doctor's appointment. I figured, let me get this checked. I have met my complete out-of-pocket maximum this year. I would year. hope so. So if it is and they're just like, oh, we'll keep an eye. I'm like, uh-uh, no, we fixing it and we fixing it now because I don't have to pay this year. Before December 31st at midnight, <laughs> let's get this scheduled because exactly. it starts all over again, exactly. January 1. So, yeah, so that's what's happening here in this world. Like, are you kidding me? Like, could anything else? Like, I was kind of wondering, too, I was going to ask my sister, like, if um, the plastic surgeon could fix the hernia and, like, do some other work while he's there. I'm sure. Maybe you could somehow rope it into so my being insurance, would, insurance would cover it. it. Yeah. So I'm going to ask her when I see her today. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that cool? That's, I yeah. Yeah. I called her. I quit breastfeeding. I quit pumping. And I was, like, down my list of things I can do now. First one, drink. Well, I guess. I mean, drink anytime I want now. Uh, I mean, I guess without being considered an alcoholic. Right. But, um, like, face, like, stuff. She had, like, the stuff that uh. like, did my uh, dark spots on my face. So I called her, I was like, I need my cream. I called dermatologist, I need the cream for my. my Oh my gosh, I can eat shellfish, I can have sushi, you can have like lunch meat or all the other stuff that you were... I did the the foot peel this week, like I couldn't do it before, like... Would you have a list in your phone? Oh my god, I was ready to go. Things to do after I stop breastfeeding. After I'm attached, you know, (laughs) so... Yeah, so it's much better now, I mean, I don't... The biggest, it was in the middle of the night, and now like, Sir Jason's happy, I do the the middle of the night feeding, because he would feed and I would pump, but now there's no need for that, and he has to get up to go to work, so I do it. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, so I'm glad you're here. You had a good week. I feel like I took my life back by yeah. stopping. You yeah. know, I feel like, God, like now, like, I have control over this body and, you know. You can scrub your feet all day I, and put some face a, cream on. Well, it was like this, you put these booties on for an hour. It's like this, like, it must be some kind of acid something soaks in. And then in, like, five or seven days, they just, everything peels off. Okay. They, haven't even, they haven't peeled yet. So yeah. I'm still waiting for the peel. Okay. I'll take a picture. Maybe I'll do a better picture for the thing. Oh, God, my microwaves. Yes, did you return them? Oh my god! Okay, so Friday night we go to we had to go to storage, pick up our two microwaves, and right? Take them in, load them up, bring them into Lowe's. Um, one of the thi- we had to return the dryer plug too. They sold us a dryer plug. Okay. That we don't need because we have a gas dryer. gas dryer, right? We don't need the big prong one because we right. only need the small one you because need... the only p- much power we need is to control the control right. panel. The big one is the two twenty. You don't need yeah, that. Yeah, we don't need that one. So um, we took it. We're taking it back. That one returned just fine. The microwaves up? No, we can't return them. Um, it's not letting me. You have to call this number, and since it's after six thirty, you'll have to call them on Monday. And I'm like. I gotta take these microwaves home with me. After load them out, <laughs> like the the whole getting them there was a pain in the butt. Yeah, like it's not even like they're out of a house; they're right. in storage, right? So I'm like, oh. and so she's like, well, "Let me see." She called like her customer service manager over. She's like, "Will your card work to re- you know turn these?" And she's like, "No." She tried it; it didn't work. She's like, "Well, the, the manager like must have probably been on like his lunch break or something." And like, "Well, he should be back like in 15 minutes. Maybe his will work." She's like, "I was gonna tell him to call this number." And the lady looks at the other. Lady. She's like. No, because he's mind waiting 15 minutes. Like, it just seems like more of a hassle for you to load right. your microwaves back up and call this number, like, yourself. Like, that's ridiculous. We're like, yeah, no problem. So it's Lowe's. You can find something to do for 15 minutes, you know? Oh, so yeah. So walk around, You walk can, around. like, do an entire room in 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> DYI. So I'm like, oh, we're going to do this in the closet, this in the garage, you know? And uh, we go back, and he's still not there, and we're like, Ugh. like take an extended lunch break. Yeah, it's like, you know someone's watching you now, you know? Right. Keep that in mind when you take lunch, everybody. Exactly. You know, there might be someone waiting on you. That's right. What well, salary? I don't care. I'll go as long as I want. Exactly. I don't have a job, so. Exactly. <laughs> Although, with this uh, stay-at-home mom, then I sometimes don't get lunch. Yeah. You work. It's a working it's lunch. It's a working lunch. Exactly. Well, I get it at nap time around two, but anyway. So, like, fine. So, I go, I go get the car this time and bring it to the door to load these microwaves back up. And I get, get them all loaded up. And Jason gets in the car. He's like, I think the manager just walked in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he's like, he had on like a Lowe's, like super center, like collared yeah. shirt. Right. He's like, he sits down. He's like, takes a side. He's like, should I go check? And I was like, yes. Because I don't like, I don't want to do this again tomorrow or whatever. The next day he's like, all right. So he goes inside. He's like, yeah, it was him. He's like, give me the receipt. He, as Jason was going in, the lady was running out to try to see if he could, she could find him. Like he's back, you right. know, which is really nice. Yeah. 
to just bring the receipt. We'll see if it works. And it did. And then so then he unloaded the microwaves. We got our money back. And the guy was the manager that checked this out when they couldn't figure out check like figure it all out with the money. He must have the secret sauce, the secret he, card. He has the magic card that overrides everything. And he's like, man, I remember this purchase. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. He's like, so you didn't want three microwaves? No, not really. I so, mean, yes, the saga of them are, we have no more microwaves. We have one microwave. Well, I have to you say, know, thank what you. What probably happen is that one microwave won't work. Oh, hey, don't say that. Knock <laughs> on wood. Don't say that. And then then they won't make them anymore, and they don't have one for that hole. You yeah. Know? <laughs> so then you're going to have to, like, do a cutout of a bigger one. Like, we had three microwaves, and we returned two that worked, and one we didn't, by chance, didn't work or something like that would just don't don't say that uh, just roll with it okay well i have to say thank you for supporting lowe's because i have stock in lowe's <laughs> so thank you for using lowe's versus home depot yes. so i appreciate that mm -hmm. you know that if you well if you're a veteran you get 10 percent off yes okay so that's always a good thing to use i'm not a veteran neither is james but james dad is and so is kelly you can use her so phone is number kelly, so i can remember her phone number versus his dad's but so i'm like so is my um, brother-in-law he's like here just put my number in i never even like, thought about for my sister because her numbers never changed in 20 years so with james's dad i don't have it memorized i mean whose numbers do you memorize so i remember going up to the register and i think <laughs> we bought all that tile for our porch in mm -hmm. the old house and it was like a thousand dollars and they're like, because uh, James was loading it, so I had to pay for it. And I was like, he's like, what's the phone number? And I'm like, um, and I'm like, got my contacts. I'm like, <laughs> um, like, like, I'm trying to scroll through, <laughs> trying to hit info. And I'm like, does he notice that I'm doing this? And I'm trying to steal from, but nobody caught on. It was like, it saved me. It was 10%. I was like, 100, 100 bucks. bucks so yeah. I mean, 100 bucks, 100 mm -hmm. bucks, you know? So, so yeah. I also want to discuss, um, <sighs> uh, girl, <sighs> I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> First of all, I'm a hard breather either, either in any ways. I'm carrying a lot of extra weight. I feel like I'm going to be on oxygen next week. But the, here's the thing. I, when I'm on my, when I'm working from, or when I'm doing the podcast from my phone, I'm actually doing through the headset. The headset yeah. So it's a, you know, it, it's, it's, it's got the little, you know, sponge Microphone thing. thing. And so it's like a whole get up. So I think that it's just picking up on everything that I'm doing. But I was sitting there listening to the podcast yesterday. I was cleaning my house and I'm like gosh i am such a heavy breather like i i could like i i could make some like prank calls to somebody <laughs> and i could really pull this off i was like gosh i can't believe i sound like dark vader so i've i've said that from the beginning mm -hmm. that i said i you know you're always i'm always my worst critic well i did when we were we were recording and i heard it but i was like maybe it's just the line well i thought maybe it was the ac in the camper because it's <laughs> you know it, it could have been a combination mm -hmm. of that um not quite sure but um, yeah, definitely some heavy, heavy breathing going on. So I, I think when I'm in the microphone, like face to face, I'm a further away from you it, are. so you're not picking up on it. Exactly. So, yeah, and it's also this extra weight, so that's probably another. It's probably a health issue. Probably should check that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to say so we went out Friday night after the microwaves. I was looking at my phone. And I saw this, and it was um, another Friday night at a typical water and hole. Yeah. A fight happened. Oh um i ran behind the bar like wow yeah like i just happened to be like i was over talking to another friend and the fight happened like two chairs behind where we were and i was just like i don't want anything to do with this and i like went like scooted to the side and then there was this guy that was like super odd and i'm like and he had been over talking with some other people and um i went and sat back down and all of a sudden he's like standing behind me and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, just super weird. Like, super, super weird. And I was like, all right, buddy, you know. And so Mike came over, and he puts his, like, hand on my shoulder. He's like, he's like, dude, you're making my sister really uncomfortable. You need to leave. And I was like, oh, Mike just called me his sister. <laughs> and, he, and Mike took him to the side. And like, you, you got to stop, man. Like, you're just making her uncomfortable. Was he alone? Yeah, he's, like, super weird. He had to, like, give me his business card. And he's like, I'm taking this back. You can't have it. What kind of it. business did he have? He did, like, life and health insurance. Oh, jeez. Yes. Was he a bigger guy? Super tall. I feel like I've seen him there. I'm so weird. <laughs> and, like, I mean, like, I was, I was, I mean, he was just, I, I, maybe, like, he's on the spectrum, like, and he doesn't understand boundaries and things like right, that. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but it was just super odd, you yeah. know? So, yeah, so that was... Um, typical well I, too bad i missed it i mean i know uh shannon sent me the text yeah. sent a text to go up there and so i volunteered to watch my sister's kids God friday bless night bless you i don't know how you do it like i just 
I just let him run amok, and my sister comes home. She's like, "This house is a mess." I don't care. Well, so it's not your problem. Not like, my that's problem. Now I was working. I was working till eight o'clock at night. So mm-hmm. yeah, because I had some major reports, dude, and some craziness going on. So luckily for me it kind of was a win-win because i was able to wash clothes at her house so i wasn't like too i was like okay because normally i go there fridays during the day right there but if i didn't do it till after five so it kind of worked out i got my clothes washed so so, you know i did two for one right took care of the kids and i washed clothes well it was just cheyenne's birthday two weeks ago so she of course has all of these presents still that she wants to open of course and she wants to open them all right and not play with any of them but she wants to open them all you know Mm -hmm. that goes so she brings me this doll that she wants me to open Oh, so this was um, a gift she already had. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought it was something Aunt Kimmy bought her, like Aunt Kimmy's dollar store run. No, no. Actually, it was she had gifts that – it wasn't something that I bought her. Okay. No. So it was something that she had had in her, like, uh, plunger of gifts. And I, for some reason, thought I had initially bought it. But then it dawned on me I didn't get her that for her birthday. Okay, because I thought it was like one of those things that you told me I take like take him to the dollar store, let him pick something out, and you'll have a better night. That's what I thought this no. was. Okay. Well, I wasn't taking all three kids to the <laughs> dollar store. You crazy? I mean, I took two of them to Ollie's, <laughs> but they were surprisingly behaved. Like you just stick them in the cart and mm-hmm. you just you know you promise them a present, but well, you go down aunt... every aisle except for the gift aisle yes. until you get ready to leave. Then okay. the, you know. But you're Aunt Kimmy, too, and I'm a little different than Mommy doing it. Exactly, exactly. So we get this doll. She gives me this doll, and, and so I take the doll out, and it has one hand. <laughs> I sent you the picture. I'm yes. like, what kind of Barbie doll is this? <laughs> is this like an amputee? Like, what is going on here? So then I looked at the box, and it was Rainbow High doll. So you know there's the high school high dolls? Like, yes. Well, when Taylor was a little girl, she, there was high school high. It was okay. it was before the LOL dolls, oh, and it no. was before the um, what are the Bratz Brat. dolls? I remember Bratz. I don't like. It was like yeah. it was called High School High. It okay. was like a brand. It was a very popular brand. So this is called Rainbow High. So obviously it's a knockoff <laughs> of, of this other brand. And I opened it up, and it she only had one hand. And I'm like, what in the world is this? What kind of gift is this? So when my sister came home, I said, this Barbie only has one arm. And she said, oh, that must have been something her dad got her. And I'm like, <laughs> must have bought it on clearance or something. <laughs> so check your Barbie's hands. Like, make sure they like, exist. Was it in a clear package? I guess you just didn't notice it. It was in a clear package. Yeah. You know, and the, the, the way that they tie these toys up. Yeah, maybe that is how she's supposed to come maybe she doesn't yeah. have a hand well you know barbie does have that they have them in wheelchairs yeah. they have them in crutches which i think is really cool mm-hmm. you know they have kind of expanded right they even have a fat barbie like me that's probably the ones i would have played with <laughs> speaking of barbies uh reagan i promised her a gift girl Remember? you delivered of course i wanted to get her a barbie jeep but like the drivable ones like the um yeah, power like, wheels right but that was a lot of my budget <laughs> <laughs> i got this thing i can't but would be out of my budget but even like this thing is massive. I got that on Amazon Prime Day. Girl, that thing is crazy. I got all kinds of stuff coming to the camper. <gasps> Girl, it was like, the packages just show up, and I don't even know what I bought. Really? So you went a little crazy on Prime Day. Okay, so we knew we needed to buy a tablet for Grady, which sounds crazy, because we're like, he's a baby. He doesn't need a tablet. He hates the car. Okay. Right. He hates, hates the car, and he will stay still for baby bums. And it was like, right now we have like a, a DVD like player in there whatever I'm like i i just can't like i you know he screams the whole time unless he has something to watch in the car um and so i'm we're eventually gonna buy it might as well buy it on prime day and save 75 dollars yes so we did the first thing we bought i ordered it now i ordered it like i don't know eight o'clock in the morning it was here at eight o'clock that night that's crazy yes so i got that and then of course when we got it it's the next one up from reagan's it has a different case oh so you can't interchange it. And, and they have different plugs. So oh. it's not like, oh, my God. So and then Reagan's like, this is not, this, this thing, my, it's not Grady's. Grady has to share with me. And so we only downloaded Baby Bums. So that, like, if you want to watch Grady's, that's fine. You're only watching right. Baby Bums. That's right. And so after, like, the next day, we're like, do we just buy Reagan since it's on sale? Do we buy it for her? And we did. Because the biggest thing is the cord. Right. You know, like trying like in a house like you know how many cords people have yeah I bet you see this I mean like oh, we, yeah. we have a whole bucket of cords and then try yeah. to find the one you want for the one right now right mm-hmm. is it for the GoPro is it for the tablet is it for mm-hmm. our phone so like if we have the same cord it doesn't matter you know and right. you can trade in your old one nice but it's only ten dollar trade in and it's like might as well keep it it doesn't it works right what if we need it for something else we have another kid come over and it's like here you get one too right you know so 
hers doesn't come to the end of the month because by the time we ordered it, they had probably done a lot. But I bought these really cool things for Jason. Well, clearly for me. But they're these clear plastic things, and they have, like, these things in the back that, like, hook up. Anyway, you fold a shirt on it, and then you put the next one on top, and then you fold another shirt. Boom, boom, boom. So whenever he wants a shirt, you lift it up, and you slide the shirt out, and you put it down, and they're all still nice. Kim, I, I did them all yesterday, all 36 of his T-shirts. Oh, my gosh. And color coordinated them like the you know it ain't gonna stay that way it does because when it doesn't mess up when you pull the shirt out but you have so you have if you wash them and you put them back in there you just have to put it back on the color you can pull the plastic back out and you just lift it up and you put the neck you put it back in okay so it doesn't i promise you i'll hmm. send a video to you later yeah you should do that i wish i had room for something like that in my camper but i don't well it helps organize too mm -hmm. because like um it takes like the space like so it's only as big as like a sheet of paper right that's how they are so i was like i just hmm. i just couldn't do it anymore it was like trying to shove his stuff oh like, yeah and it's a mess and i was like i'm going through it folding his shirts and putting my like, man i forgot about this shirt because he can't get to the bottom of the pile right now if he's like oh what was that one he just lifts it up he's like oh okay nope Next. you know he doesn't have to go through it anymore right. so i'm pretty excited about that was probably my best purchase i thought very cool i got a baby mattress because um, Grady's gonna need it because Reagan's kind of like destroyed yeah. her. She's like yeah. she stands in the corner, so right? Like that, that needed that. Um, I did send two things back that I got so far: a sweater and some organization organizational things that go in the back of your chairs in your car for the kids. Right. Well, it put the tablet too low. Like she'd be looking down at it, and I was like, eh. yeah. and then it had to like hooks behind the driver's seat, and I was like, I didn't want like cool, like strap on my back. Right. So I sent those back. I got a few toys for Christmas, a few gifts. Um, so that was pretty much it. I mean, I can't only, I actually have them in my car now, so I can bring them to the storage unit. Oh, so I have nowhere to put them, and I have nowhere to put them in storage. And then my dog, Bella, got to my iPod, iPod case. Oh, God. Tore off the whole top of it. So I was like, <laughs> cussing her out. I was so mad. But Taylor's like, maybe it'll still charge. Sure enough, you put the pods in there, and they charge. Um, but it doesn't give a full charge. So I had, I got one of those for like 69 bucks, okay. which is I, for a hundred and you know what, now that I think about it for 119, I could have got a whole new set because James wants them for Christmas. And then you could have interchanged the charge or I could have just re-gift the Bobo ones <laughs> or the, the busted case to James. I'm like, if you just hold it, cause he wants, he wants a pair. Yeah. And I'm, 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 cause they're the best thing ever. They like, are. They good. are. I swear to you that it's the best gift I've ever received. And Taylor got um, some for Chris or her birthday and she's like, she raves about them. And James really wants them, but I'm afraid that with him, he's, you know, he's not dainty. He's working in the field. So right. it's like, I feel like if he drops them, it'll drop in the mud. Right. So I want to get the, um, Apple doesn't have them, but um, Beats do. Mm -hmm. They have like the string with, they're still wireless, but it has like, you know, it, it's easier to right. pick up. Does he have wireless ones at all? He does, but not, they're Bobo ones. Okay, yeah, because we had some that were like, Bobo um, that I use at the gym, mm -hmm. um, and they, I like them. The only thing I did, like, they worked fine. The only thing I didn't like is when I would run. Yeah, the cord would like. Yeah. Get, so this would be better for running, but um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so I mean, my week was. Let's see, I went to see Ring twice. One was not um, was kind of an impromptu meeting. So I, I literally did the math. I drove for eight hours straight, like oh. you know, two hours there, two hours back. Um, I had scheduled a lunch with an office, and they don't have a Chick Fil A in Sebring. No. So I ordered Chick-fil-A, and guess what? I am. I'm a red member. You red? What color am oh, I? You, you ain't red. You probably silver. I think I am silver. Let me check. Because red, check food. You know, let me tell you what. Red gets you a lot of perks, okay? I don't know yet what they are, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I think for every, something for every, uh, well, something I spend, I get a point. Because I spent $200 there, you know? And I, and I place a lot of to-go orders or catering orders with chick-fil-a because when i do lunches at offices you can't go wrong with chick-fil-a listen i'm silver but i am almost red you're silver but you, but you ain't but you're not silver they, listen these are my own personal points okay okay and, and mm -hmm. do you know how much uh i redeem mine i would probably if they had a gold i would be a gold by now That's because true. you know what i throw taylor a sandwich every now and then because you can re-gift them right yeah or if it's like an off week for payday i'll go there and Get me and I'll and I'll um, order yeah. my stuff. So I have two thousand three hundred and ninety nine points. Oh my gosh! So yeah, I have one hundred forty three. Oh, 
Well, if you need me to throw you a bur, uh, throw yeah. a burger. Well, you I know, can re-gift it. You know, you can at the at the gold level or the at the red level and the silver level. I can gift it silver. You can gift the silver. I use my points, so I do use them. Mm -hmm. I use them. I just got this because I just placed this order and, and I did this on Wednesday. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to use them. Um, but I brought Chick Fil A to Sebring, and you would have thought it was the best thing ever. Oh, I bet. Hands you know what's down. awesome about Chick Fil A? Like they'll like I just like I have a free reward for some chicken bites that they sent me. Like. They don't need to give away free food or no. have a point system or anything like that. People will still come. Of like, course. This is like a perk to, am to amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, I know where all of my Chick-fil-A's are in all of my areas. Mm -hmm. I've seen doesn't have one. So I've got Vero, Fort Pierce, because that's Fort Pierce is new. They are not Stewart, okay? No. They, they need to up their game. It's it's not Stewart. But I get those um, because I've gone to all three regularly. I'll get, hey, this is the manager. We're going to oh, throw yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. grilled chicken or, like, you know, like a thing of mac and cheese right. or things like that. That's so, cool. But the way that they do this, because a lot of um, healthcare facilities, they usually, like, when they have lunches, they do platters, right? And it's like a free-for-all. Well, because of COVID, they like individual. So any place that can do an individual is, like, gold. Mm -hmm. So they give you a box. And it's a box. It's its own box. Inside the box is waffle fries. Not fries. You can choose fries or chips but i do chips because it's just hard to keep fries, fries warm. yeah they do a cookie they do the waffle chips and they do the chicken sandwich they put a napkin they put a wet wipe in there they put mayonnaise they put ketchup i mean the whole nine yards nice. so when you so when i show up it's just take your box and go mm -hmm. there's no fuss no mess so it's super easy so i so that, so that was a winner but i picked it up like at eight o'clock in the morning right drove two hours i was still worried if it was gonna be warm so you know i ordered me one and i'd try it out and it worked out well good so that went really well and so I just a lot of driving. Yes. You know, just uh, just tired of that. And let's see what else happened to me this week. Um, well, let's see. Last night, James and I went on a, a late date night. I'm proud of you. And well, we were going to go earlier, but our neighbors who were uh, across the street from us relocated to next to us. Oh, okay. And so we were chatting with them, and it kind of got into the night because we had. They, he always is washing his his camper. He's a class A, which okay. is the motorhome. Okay. He's always washing it. I never understood why. I'm like, dude. It, they can go by. Like, I've washed one side of mine because I got bored. <laughs> and come to find out, they bought this and they converted it. They gutted the entire thing out. And they're, they're first month RV in full time. Like, they're going to do this for full time. They're moving to Asheville. That's where they want to go. Okay. I'm like, are you really sure you want to do this full time? I'm like, I am three months into this and this is not light. This is not how it goes. But they're kind of hippie ish. So it's okay. kind of cool. So well, they probably don't have jobs. He works in Riviera Beach. Oh. And she's, they've got a baby. They've got like a six-month-old. Oh, so she God. Stays, so she stays at home. Oh, God. This sounds terrible. And she sounded a little like she wasn't really, um, she, I'm just not really sure about the camper life. Because yeah. she's a stay-at-home mom right. and she's living in it, you yeah. know? So that was interesting having conversation. They're having the same issues with the lot lord okay. um, that I am. And they got kicked out of their spot and they had to move to another spot. Well, then, sure enough, the spot that they were in, some guy down the way moved into. So it's like... You know, playing Tetris or so I don't know. This place is, sucks. So I'm putting out a full page ad. I'm documenting as I've said. I am I'm over it. So I told them I'm like, he's this is awful. But she's they're like, you know, where are there any RV parks? The, they were having the same issue mm -hmm. because and they have to be out in a month. There's nowhere to go. Everybody's RV in. Yeah. You know, so all these RV parks are full. So we didn't get to a late start. I wanted to hit happy hour. Right. Well, it, girl, I didn't get out of the house till 8 to 30. Oh, God. That was just Gabby, Gabby talking. Y'all usually a bit by then. I got sober by the time I was done talking to them because <laughs> I didn't want to leave because I couldn't go get a refill. Yeah, I go potty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's go do hat. Let's go have uh, dinner. But we, we're going to try the new Twisted Tuna and Jupiter. Right. And girl, at 8 o'clock. It was pack number one, an hour wait. Oh, God. So James was like, let's go to the food shack. I'll take my baby to the food shack. Because <laughs> they got good food at food yeah, shack. they do. So we, got, we went there, and uh, we had dinner. And then I'm like, let's go do a nightcap. So we went to Tiki 52. That place is completely different now. Was, yeah. So they, you know, they had, like, the bar with the, you know, they had the singer right here. Now, they've always had this Tiki Hut thing over there, but they've never done anything. That's where the band is. They've got all of these tables. It reminds me of Square Grouper. The okay. way it's expanded. You know, so, I mean, we got there at 1030, and I think the band played one more song. Gotcha. And then there wasn't really a lot of people there. So, that was kind of nice. That's cool. You did look at a house this week, right? I did look at a house this week. All right. I got some questions for you. Because you've been on this house search for a while. I've been on this house search for a while. So, let's help. Let's, let's help. Okay. okay. Well, first of all, depending on the day is going to be my answer. I know. That's fine. You let's know that, see. right? Okay. All right. What's more important, location or price? Oh, my goodness. Um, 
what's more important, location or price? Price. What's more important, acreage or upgrades? Acreage. Okay. What's your deal breaker? I feel like we're doing like, you know, um, when we were in school and you're like, give me your top, you want a Lamborghini? You're like, what's your favorite car? Do you <laughs> yeah, remember that? Life. What was it called? Life. Life? Was it called life? <laughs> I know. I remember that game. You know why? Because I, uh, I think I saw a Lamborghini going down the road and I'm like, oh my God, I remember I wanted a Lamborghini and yeah, anyways, sorry. This is going to help you. This I is got sidetracked. This, okay. What's your deal breaker? What's my deal breaker? God, you know what? I've kind of, I don't know, like, it used to be a pool, like, that was my deal breaker, mm -hmm. but I have come to the conclusion, there's a lot of factors involved with that. A deal breaker would be location or price. I mean, it's, like, and how? I don't know. I'm struggling. I know. That's what I'm trying, we're trying to help you out a here. A deal breaker. I don't know. I don't we'll really come back to it. Okay. okay. In, in order from most important, which is the, we'll start with these ones, okay? So they're going to be the four. Put them in order. What's most important? Okay. Size, price, location, or upgraded? We probably know price is first, price right? Price is first. And what are the other three selections? Um, size, location, and upgraded. Location, size, and upgrades. Okay. What are your must-haves? Mm. Well, I definitely must have would be acreage and I would like at least a half acre. I'm not like, I don't need 20, but 30 would be really great. Um, acres, 30 acres. <laughs> uh, uh, so it must be at least half acre half. just because we wouldn't the world of Charlotte. <laughs> God, I wish I could sleep like that. She's got all twisted up there. Um, yeah, half acre just because James has so many toys mm -hmm, okay. and so, and the dogs and, um, I'd have to say, Hmm, must-haves. Location is important. I mean, location is important, but like what in the house? Metal yep. roof. Okay. But that's negotiable too, but typically a metal roof. Okay. A, a roof that has fairly been done. Okay, so we Because still... the problem with homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. that everyone's having these days, so I wanted to make sure that I get it insured because I have to consider that in my escrow with my payment. Yeah. So it's something... So age, at least useful life. Yes, and I, wanna, I want, in addition to a home that is not 50 years old. So something like 20 years. 20 years and less. Less, yeah. Because then things start breaking. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not even picky about bedrooms. I mean, James is like, we need a three bedroom, but I'm okay with a two bedroom. If it's quirky enough, and sometimes they are, it's a niche. Well, typically if you're going 20 years and newer, you're not going to find anything that's less than, than a three bedroom yeah. any but the, longer. Well, there's been a few out there. So, in the last 20 years, yeah, 2000 was, and newer? Yeah, there was one in... Uh, there was one we found it was in Fort Pierce like oh. three weeks ago I mean I, I was like a I was a base or was an apartment to the side so I don't know but I mean I don't even that didn't yeah. even matter to me but Be mm -hmm. bedrooms um, you know a pool used to be a must-have but I would if I could find acreage versus at a good price knowing that it'll praise more for than what it's worth then I can turn around and put my pool in later okay what how much upgrading are you willing to do like if i were to buy something that needed to have fixed up first of all neither james i well james doesn't have the time not that he doesn't right. have the ability but he doesn't have the time and, and not that we don't know people we you know we've got you know jason's dad and we've got rob you know we could throw him a you know 12 pack and he'll come over and demolish the kitchen you know so i'm not i'm not necessary it doesn't have granite i'm okay with that that's all cosmetic and that's something that can be done at a later date and that can be done in pieces right right i don't want necessarily carpet but i can do a carpet we just rip it up so it's i'm not necessarily i just want it to work like working toilets working sinks yeah i can i can work with that i mean when you're looking the problem is is the cheaper the home is because there's not upgrades there's right. not it's outdated right you know, I don't want white tile. And that was my original list, five. Like, I didn't want yeah. white tile. But I've succumbed to white tile because it's just what it is. Right. You know, but I also think to myself, if the price is right, you know, and I threw forty grand into something, you know, over the course of time. So, upgrades are not important. Okay. So, you, there, well, so, but renovation, because you're coming in at a price point. The reason it's at that price point is because it needs $100,000 right. worth of work. Right. And some of it isn't just cosmetic. Right. We're talking stuff that has to be done. Like structurally, like, like, like the, the one. has to be done. Like right. 
all these things have right. to be done to it. That's why it's at this price point. So right. we got to figure out if you're okay at this price point or if... like the one we went and looked at this week. Right. So it was just on the market. It was on 4.25 acres. The land itself, right off Internet and Indian River Drive, was well worth the, the price. The problem is the house number was on the center blocks. Um, it definitely had like some. It had wood rot. Right. Therefore, it could have been termites behind that. You just never know. The siding was shot. They were building a new deck, which leads me to believe that it had collapsed at some point. Right. Um, so the, the so it while the inside was great. I mean, it had bones meaning right. it, you could i could go pull up carpet and i can do all of that the outside the structure itself right which that's an issue <laughs> was an issue like i don't know yeah. like a good storm comes mm-hmm. through there and it could you know so you know it's just something structurally sound it doesn't even have to it can be wood frame at this point james and i are okay with that because if you, especially if it's got hardy board because that's like having concrete it's the hardy board is a, a type of cement so right. it's like you know i'm okay with that so but there was price point it right. was right where it needs to be. Right. I mean, to put hardy board on is not cheap. No. So, I mean, if the house you buy is frame and you're going to add hardy board, right. you're talking like $50,000. Right, right. So, I mean, I'm saying if it's wood frame and it has hardy, right. I'm okay with that, too. Right. Um, and that one, too, wasn't like half of the property separated by the railroad track? It was. Not the majority of it, but probably a good half acre of it was. So, oh, okay. Which, therefore, it's... You know, not accessible. No, I mean, unless you I, jump the tracks. Well, I mean, they like can put your fort. boat over there. Like, you I don't need, get it across. No, uh, uh-uh, <laughs> no. Like, poor Belle, you have to put a fence up. Your dog is hit by a train. Well, and that's almost I want to say a must-have because yes, I depending would say. On, depending on the price, because I mean, putting in a fence is about ten grand. We've already kind of priced mm-hmm. it, and you know, that's that's uh, almost a must-have. I've, I've I'm more likely to want to look at one that has a fence than not. Okay. But if it's nice enough, I'm like, we can throw a fence in there. And you want to live in Fort Pierce? Fort Pierce is because of the is because of the price point. Okay. And I feel like Martin County is just not within reach right now. Anything that comes on, not for half acre or more, just not going to happen. Right. Unless I want to pay 600000 I'm not doing it. Port St. Lucie is ideal, okay? But I don't want to live in Port St. Lucie on a half acre when I can't, if I can find them. No, you'd be on a... Most times it's just a quarter acre lot yeah. out there. Yeah, and there are some double lots out of Becker, which I have found. They're far and few between. But if that's a half acre for three fifty, I'd rather buy two acres for three fifty right. in Fort Pierce. So that's where why Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce is close enough for James to Andrea Road and to where he works at. So Fort Pierce is always our go-to because I know we can get more bang for a buck. Even Okeechobee, depending on where at in Okeechobee. Right bit more bang for a buck if we're going to spend four hundred thousand up to four hundred thousand on a home i want it to have land okay so we're gonna so that's what we got so we're gonna go this is what we're gonna we're gonna change your, your focus okay okay so we're gonna do 400 or less but it's gonna have to have at least a half an acre mm-hmm. um the roof must have say seven plus years useful life right and because we know why because of the homeowner's insurance exactly. is an issue that's especially if it's shingle mm-hmm. if it's metal you still want to make sure though it's been put on after march of 2002 okay because if not mm-hmm. you're not going to get that credit for it on the homeowner's insurance and you're not going to replace a metal roof that has nothing wrong with it but you're going right. to pay more money in homeowner's right. insurance okay so seven plus years of shingle after 2002 f metal okay you just help us narrow your search okay okay um let's see we want the house to be 20 years or less Mm-hmm. and anywhere Any construction yeah and anywhere in between martin county and st Lucie county okay and or, Oka- either Okeechobee. Okeechobee county okay. those are like the three i just know martin is just not an option right now and no hoa but yeah. that's a that's a given well, what if you ended up in like country place? Now, country place is cool because I, I, you know, I found out the the HOA is pretty relaxed. Or in Foxwood. Foxwood, I'd have to find out because Foxwood is. I do know James's parents were going to move in there when they first came to Martin County mm-hmm. years ago. They did not allow work trucks. I don't know if that's changed. This was like thirty years ago or however mm-hmm. long ago. I mean, like y'all don't have work trucks though. 
Well, like diesel, like a, they allow uh, big trucks like that, but like trailers, like we have the welding trailer mm-hmm. if that ever has to come our way, right? Because it's 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 noticeable that you know right. not everyone to roll up in the tractor in there, right? But they something... don't allow it's an equestrian community, so they do not. I know that they don't allow livestock unless it's for a 4-H or FFA mm-hmm. project. Mm-hmm. So project animals they allow, mm-hmm. but they don't um, allow anything. I mean, if something were to pop, there was one that popped up. It was a foreclosure in there, needed a, a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And um, but if something were to pop up in there, it just reading the bylaws and see what it's about. Right. Yeah. I mean, there was another one in Fort Pierce that had an HOA, and it seemed pretty relaxed. So, I mean, I'm not against HOAs if they're pretty, you know, if you have a half acre, acre HOA out there, you know, Gregor Woods, same thing. They're, while they don't allow boats in the yard, you have to have them behind a fence. You clearly drive around there, and they're not behind a fence. Right. God forbid you get some jerk face on the association president, and all of a sudden he's handing out citations on everyone who's done this for 10 years. Right. That can happen anytime. any time, mm-hmm. so we don't like that in a fence. So everybody listening, this is what Kim needs. Yeah. So anybody has anything, <laughs> let me know. Well, the thing is too, I, I have to, I had to think to myself, I have to forego a pool in order to get the acreage because if I have the acreage, you know, then, because in 20 years from now, okay, we want to sell, you know, there's not going to be much land left. They can't right. make more land. That's what Jason tells me all the time. So, you know, if you have a half acre or more, it's, you know, more valuable than a quarter acre and then, you know, if I add a pool and then, then I have room for a pool is where I'm at. So Girl, I could sell you my five acres. You could put a trailer on it. You'd be under 400,000. A trailer, like a modular home. Yeah. I saw what I saw. You know what? That one we saw in Fort Pierce was a modular home. I think, I think they brought that in on a truck. <laughs> was when I went and looked at it. I talked to the neighbor. I was like, so tell me about the neighborhood. <laughs> He's like, I've been here for 30 years, you know, t- chatting with him. So that's always a good way to talk right. to people. You know, I was yeah. like, I don't care. I'll just ask him. You know, he said the lady that lived in that, her husband had died. I'm like, in the house? <laughs> right. Hold on. Did she kill him? <laughs> He's like, no, he got really sick and then he was in a home. I'm like, all right, cool. I just want to make sure I want to buy, you know, right. I had a little you know, spooky, you know? So, but, um, yeah, but that changes. I mean, next week I could want a condo, you know? No, we're sticking with these bones <laughs> right here. Hey, listen, you know, I'm doing this insurance thing, uh-huh. right? So I am I'm taking my studying to get my 220 and I learned out of all of the HOAs, or not the HOAs, the homeowners, the condo one, which is the, I got my notes here. Don't tell me. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the HO6. Yes, ma'am. Good which job. Is ding, 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 Winner, winner. That, unlike any other homeowner's policy, with a condo, you can actually rent it out. You can. So I'm thinking that I could get a condo and rent it out. Yeah, you have to put an endorsement on the policy. Right. Exactly. Just let them know. And yes. Some companies, once you do that, let's say you put the endorsement, because I've done insurance a couple times. Um, just a little. Just a little. Um, once you put the endorsement on, they make you lower the personal property. Okay. Because you don't, some condos rent furnished, so right. it does become an issue, but they figure it's not your stuff, we're, only, we're putting a limit on it. Which would be a C. Good job. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So I've, it's pretty intense. Like, yeah. And I have really put this off for quite some time. I mean, it's a four-month course. Right. Um, and I've kind of just let it sit there and not done anything. And now I'm, got, I'm like kind of under the wire. So um, I did like concepts and I did homeowners and I did dwellings, which, you know, um, homeowner policies did not come around until the 1960s. Not that okay. I'm going to get tested on that, but that you was on the video. It, they, they do. They ask you. Will you? They okay. will ask you questions with dates, and they will mm-hmm. ask you questions with statutes, which is ridiculous. Here's my thought on this. Okay. In life, if you say, oh, I wonder X, Y, Z, what do you do? You Google it, right? right. You know what? Like, like, life is not a closed book test. Sure. You have the opportunity to learn all the time. So while I think some of the, the concepts should be something that you should know, maybe the ethical part should right. not be open book. Like you should have to know these things because you're right. not going to look up the ethics as you're doing something. Is this right or wrong? Right. But some of this stuff, like who cares? Oh my gosh. Who like, cares who oversees right. this or that? This or that. The, you know, the, the, the financial you know, division of the, this and that. Like who cares? I think somebody I'm, just made up more questions so that they could show that they had this test was so robust. That's yeah. usually how it goes. Because the same thing happens when you do your CE credits. Yeah. They're in there. Same same stupid questions. Like, yes, you should know what twisting is. You should know what this is. I get that. But part of it should be like, all right, it's open book. Like, seriously, there's things that to this day, I've been doing insurance for almost 17 years that I'm like, okay, 
this post that again claims made or you know mm -hmm. like so i just i just don't think that it's that all of it should have to be like known like right. i just but i mean i guess it does separate people yes knowing that making sure they know what they're doing before they write this stuff because it is a big deal right i think that's what it goes down to like the professionalism and just making Correct. sure that you know your know your mm -hmm. what you're doing which i understand because when you have someone who's trying to get a policy whether or not you put them whether they qualify for a dp1 or an ho3 like mm, right. or to, to know what that looks like to get them the most bang or the most for their coverage Correct. right so these questions because at the end of every module i have to take a study test and before i can pass on to the next girl First two, I got a 48 the first time. I got to get a 70. The second time was a 69. I was like, you know what? And they said, don't. It's the same questions again, but don't write down the answers and just go back and take it. So I was like, I really want to know this stuff. Yes. So I got my flashcards out. I went the little. I went a little shortcut. I just watched the video and thinking that would have <laughs> anything. No, you got to have your flashcards. Out. So the next time I took was an 89. There you go. I was like, yeah. But then I get to the one. I, I had spent four hours yesterday and my mind was just shot. Right. So HOA or the HOA, the homeowners, it got to farming. Like all the questions were related to farming. I'm like, first of all, when am I ever going to use this? But I didn't realize that if somebody, you know, you get a farming policy and if you are, you know, if you have a, a crop sprayer and they accidentally spray the adjacent farm and it kills their chickens, it's not covered unless they have a custom farming policy for the, you know, like all these other right. things. And what I found, and I was talking through this with James, what I find interesting is that it's important to know these things because if you're going to set someone up for failure yeah. or set up someone for success mm -hmm. and these little nuances of things. You need to offer it and it's up to them if they don't want it or not. You right, know? but it's educating them to say this is what, you know, if this happens, you know, you got this to happen. So James can hand out like a business card and be All like, I need long. farm. I need All farm policy. Yes, we were talking about that because, you know, sometimes they, well, there was, I guess, a farmer down south who supposedly somebody sabotaged his farm and put a bunch of stuff in the well or something. And so he was able, based upon the coverage, right. he was able to claim that. So I was, I'm kind of learning some things. Like, exactly. I, you know, I'm like, this is like cool stuff. Like, you know, I didn't realize like even with a boat, you know, like you have boat insurance, it's separate, right? right. But from your homeowner's insurance, you can do, get up to like a $1,500 for a boat, you know, like for if it gets for stolen out of your right. yard, you know? But I was wondering about that. Our boat is parked at John and Joanne's right now. So if, let's just say hypothetically the boat was to get stolen. What supersedes that? The homeowner's policy or is that even covered since it's not theirs? No, theirs wouldn't cover. It's not their boat. And on the homeowner's policy, it may cover a boat, but it only covers up to a certain size boat. Yes, or an all motor. Yeah. It's like a, if it's like a, a 60 horsepower yeah. outboard and you had to have acquired the boat, you had to come into the policy with the boat. You can't have acquired it within six months of the policy. And a lot of it has to do with it's what they're really trying to cover is like a canoe. Yes, That's or a 26-foot sailboat was one of the questions. Yeah, like it's not necessarily made for like your guys' boat because there's a better policy for that. Like you wouldn't get like on a, like a little uh, like a dinghy, you wouldn't necessarily need to get a policy for that. So those are the kind of things that we covered under your homeowner's policy okay. versus that. So if so, let's if our boat's parked at their house and it got stolen. Your boat policy. My boat policy would would take precedence, but would their homeowners? No. Not at all. Oh, well, here's no, another thing. Theirs. Something else I learned, mm -hmm. and you know, because Florida has three requirements: fire, lightning, and sinkhole. Right. Basic policy has all three required. However, if someone twelve years older or twelve years older, twelve <laughs> years older, older, right. intentionally sets your house, it is not covered. Mm -hmm. Any intentional acts aren't covered. In, I think it's somebody inside the house. Though. Right. Not like like if like firecracker you, lands on it. No, so you come to my house and set it on fire. It will be covered. Right. But if Gavin set my house on fire, right. it would not be covered. Correct. Right. Yes. So I was like, hmm, who knew? I mean, obviously you have to show intent, you right. know. But I was like, interesting, because it was like they keep hammering down. These are the three. These are the uh -huh. three. These are always there. But then they have that little. So I found there's so many exceptions exclusions it's pretty insane i didn't realize all the nuances and no. how, how the heck are you supposed to ma maintain all this do you remember that house in poor saint lucie the guy was like went to the bar and him and this guy got like in a fight and the guy got in a fight with went to the guy's house and burned it down yes like so well the guy that they burnt the guy's house down he was a renter he didn't own that house it was owned by the owner of the house right, right? well they were a client of ours. Oh, yeah? 
didn't pay the renewal. They didn't have insurance. Oh, jeez. Yep. And, like, um, not only did they not pay, like, didn't have, like, I had sent them, like, emails, like, it's coming up for renewal. They didn't do anything. They got mailed the stuff. Mailed, their attorney called and was like, we need all the documents. I said, well, you need to call the company. This is, like, this is all the stuff I sent the insured. This is all the stuff the company has sent the insured. Like, there is no doubt this person was notified. They didn't right. pay it. Yeah. That's crazy. Something else I realized is that when you, the moment that you hook up a trailer to your vehicle, it's all one. And the most you'll get for a trailer for damage in the state of Florida is 1500 So I was like, that's, you know, just things like right. that, that, you know, I don't think that if you're not living and breathing it and knowing it, and you're just like someone who's on the street who doesn't know this, you don't know this stuff. Right. So I'm, I'm while it's a pain in the butt, I feel like I'm learning right. for myself and then obviously for others. So today I'm going to go back and because I got a 69 on the homeowners, I needed one more point. And I was like, I'm just going to retake it again, but you have to wait five minutes. And by the time I was done, yeah. I was like, I'm going to the bar. And then I you know, yeah. got caught up with the neighbors. <laughs> but I'm going to finish that today. And my next Good. one, aviation. Oh. Like, I don't know. I don't have any plans on insuring planes. No. <laughs> you know? It's a very niche market, especially here. There's already an agency that just does that. Yeah, I figured, and I noticed they're usually, like, near the airports, right? It's on the airport property. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. There's no reason. They don't and they do not do anything else. So, like, if you refer to them and you, they like you, they'll just refer back to you. So Perfect. Just, just be friends with them. Yeah. And I don't just, let them have it all. I just hope that it's – I hope that chapter's short. Yeah. <laughs> because then I have to continue on to the yeah. next. But I have all my notes, so I'm, I'm, I'm you know, it's just – it's a lot. It is a lot. You know, especially when you're, you know, not – me not being in it, being so green. Yeah. You know, but I've tried to, like, you know, because I've had some homeowner – not really ever – I've never put a claim in, but I've had to deal with homeowner's insurance. So, you know, like deductibles, of you know, right. hurricane and stuff like that I'm somewhat familiar with. So, but I'm going to push through it, so I'll be calling you. And I do have a few one – we'll do all, talk offline because even though I got the answer right, I don't understand why. <laughs> so <laughs> I need – I need to – I need to understand it because I need to wrap my head around it and soak it in and exactly. have an explanation of it. So Glad I can help. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So. All right, guys. That's well, thanks it. so much for joining us this week. Yeah, we will uh, catch you next week. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.